Okay, welcome to Thursday Morning Throwdown. That's right. Today we have a BMW Continental MS D85. And we also have a MSD85.4. Um, and we tried this on both of them. So in this corner we have CGDI, which hooks up to a laptop. And in this corner we have ACDP, which is hooked up to a iPad. We've already got this one hooked up. So we're going to use method one. And you know what? I'll go through that real quick. Yeah. If you go down here and you go to MSD, that's pretty stupid, Tim. Gosh darn it. If you go over here and hit help, it shows you how to do this. And you can either use the very expensive actually it's dirt cheap for these boards um and no soldering you just put it on or you can actually come on come, or you can solder if you want to you can solder uh 1k ohm resistors and i tried that first and then i went and bought the boards um and, you know, nothing against the resellers on these. I'm not saying anything bad about anybody. So let's go to MSD85. And we're just going to try and read write the ISN. We're going to use the interface boards. Okay. So detecting pins. It's got good contacts. So now we're going to continue. If you don't know the password, you click OK. And you notice that raises up a little bit in amperage. But every time, no matter what you do, it comes back with security access. Okay. Okay, so something's going on with ACDP. So, what we're going to do, um, CGDI, you don't need all of this. You don't even have to open it up. And I will stop this and start it once we get this cable hooked up, which is powered by the same power source. Okay, so... This is the exact same ECU, but instead of having ACDP, we've got our cable hooked up. And I'll show you how you do that. And we've got CG, CGDI hooked up to it. And what you do is you go over here to MSD 80, 81, 85, 87, and you click on it. We're going to select our chip, which is an MSD. 85 we click confirm and now we go diagram and that tells you where to put stuff these are powers that's a ground and then you got your can high can low so we close that and now we're going to click identify And that tells you the VIN and what it is. So now when we click read ISN, connecting, connecting, okay. It's a blinking and winking. Okay. So that was real time. You saw that. You saw how quickly it pulled the ISN. Now, this will do this on just about every BMW DME out there. The only issue I have 
and this isn't an issue with CGDI. I wish I had the ability to read the EEPROM, change the VIN and the ISN. I am not going to complain about CGDI because if you're making keys, this little tool is awesome. Um, the only issue I've ever had with it is on CAS 3++. For some reason, you read the data, feed it into it, and when it goes to make a key, it says it makes a dealer key, take it to the car, hold it up near the button and push the button a few times, and I've had it to where it won't see them. But other than that, I mean, for reading ISNs, if you're just making a key, this thing's awesome. If you were trying to swap out one DME for another, guess what? You either have to read the ISNs from both of them and then either use a Britis or something else, put it in the car, change the IS. You can't really change the ISN with a Britis on that. You have to go into, and on this one, it's a CAS4 because it's an F series. So that's why I made this video on ACDP. It says it will read and write and it won't even read it. CGDI reads it, but it doesn't make any false claims saying that it will read or write. So they just tell you it reads it. So, you know, Thursday throwdown, I gotta say, this was less than half the price of this. And it's actually a pretty damn good program. So there's the facts, folks. Okay, figured I would put this in here. This is how support from ACDP said we should be reading this. They said to go to OBD CAN and they said we should be on the MSD 851. So let's see if we can talk to it. Reading DME info error. I'm glad that you're generating logs. So let's go read ISN. See if it'll do that. Nope. It won't even talk to it. What about if we go to MSD 81. You can see it kicks up the amperage, but every time it comes back with the same thing. Okay, what about if we open the shell? Let's go F series. We'll try the MSD. Notice it doesn't kick the power.
power up as much. Let's try the HY. I'm thinking that maybe ACDP, maybe maybe they have a different MSD DME over in their part of the world. You never know. But no matter what I do. ACDP will not read data from an MSD 85. 